Hello and welcome to the VBA Jetpack course by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video we will learn how to use with statements in VBA in Excel. So let's get started. Here I have a blank workbook and I have the VBA editor open. Here I've also inserted module 1 where I would write the code. Now let me insert this text VBA here in cell A1 and what I want to do is I want to color this cell uh, give an interior color to it and change the font uh, and make it italics, bold it and uh, change the color to white. Now to do these four things we would write the code here it would be sub let's call the code format cells uh, format cell and I would write the code here range a1 dot interior dot color is equal to vb blue and then I can write range a1 dot font dot color is equal to VB white and then I can write two more statements but I really don't need to do this because if I have similar kind of things say I'm I've I'm working on this range then I can use the width statement and then I can then use only these uh, properties which is interior, color, font, color. So to use with statement let me delete this and here I would write with range A1 and then I would then start writing about these properties and then I can change this. So here I have with range A1 dot interior dot color is equal to VB blue. Then I can type dot font dot color is equal to VB white. Then I can type dot font dot bold is equal to true and dot font dot italic is equal to true. And then I need to end this with statement. So I type end with. Let's indent this so that it's easier to read. Now here I have this with statement and what I've done is I have selected this cell in a way using with statement and then all these things are applied on this range of cells or a single cell in this case. So now let's run this code. I would press F8 to step into this code. As soon as this is run, this becomes blue. Then the second statement is run, it becomes white. The font becomes white. Then it becomes bold and then it becomes italicized. Now you can also use with statement within with statement which would be a kind of nesting. So let me delete everything and let me again type VBA here and let's go back. Here you can see that I have I'm changing in the first instant I'm changing the interior color but in the remaining instances I'm changing a property of font. So what I can do is I can type with dot font. I can say dot color is equal to VB white dot bold is equal to true and dot italic is equal to true and again I would have to end this with statement as well so I type end with now let's see what happens when we run through this code I press F8 this statement is executed this becomes blue then this with statement is executed first it comes to color which becomes white then then the bold format is applied and then italics format is applied so this is how you can use with statement within with statement. Now let's again delete this and remove this. Now let's say we have a range of cells here. We have say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here in cell A1 to A5. So to apply the similar logic on a range of cells, what we need to do is instead here of using a single cell, we would use a range of cells. So let's create another sub here, which is sub format range. Oh, I need to get out of the uh, break mode and now I would say sub format range and now here again I would write the width statement and here what I would do is I would say range a1 to a5 and then with this statement I can simply copy paste this part so let me copy paste this here and I would then end with. So now what is happening here is it would go to this range and it would apply all this formatting. Let's uh, go through this code. I would step into it. So as soon as we come to the first statement this line is executed. All this becomes blue. Then the color is white. It becomes bold and italicized. 
now let's again do one thing let me delete this and let's now have more than five cells let's say I have six and seven and again this is something that may not have I may not have control of how many records are there so I need it to be needed to be dynamic which means that I can select this cell and then I need all these records to be selected so again we would use something that we have been using quite a lot uh, in these videos is we would use this cell one and cell two argument of range function so what we have done is we have selected the first one and then we would use a range here and we would say range a1 dot end excel down now what this does is it selects this entire range of cells no matter where uh, it ends how many records are there it would all be selected so let's get out of the break mode and let's see what happens when we run this code I step into this thing all these cells get selected and are now in blue color the, the font format is white now the font bold property is true and italics, italics property is true as well so this is how you can use with statement in this case we have used a range a1 but if you want you can be on a completely different worksheet say I'm on sheet 2 but I can still make this happen if I qualify these so in case of only range a1 I would have to write worksheets sheet 1 dot range a1 and then it could happen so this is how you can use with statement these statements are very handy when you are doing a lot of things in your code say you're changing a lot of properties of a single object or a range of objects or a collection of objects so you can use this statement that's it in this video I hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day